change and all my credit cards Yay, lined up perfect it's a little heavier because it is leather but so it just goes right in there that goes in there the pen goes into the because there's a little pocket there put the pen in there put the glasses here i'm good to go and it doesn't distort it to have the keys in the front here so that's everybody has their own stuff um i have my little headache pills in there anyway it looks great with this this is a j jill product that i bought last year and it's a corded jacket and i love it and it just goes with so many of my outfits so i wanted to say thank you ivana thank you mrs q thank you pecan thank you ajay for having those videos and all the other women all of you okay i'm including all of you love this little guy and lightweight and again bottle here's a little scarf i've got a little camo scarf with a little leopard contrast on it very hobo very hobo oh my god i love this bag i'm gonna do the dooney dance what is this huh what do you do this all right i think betty davis even did that and she was in her 90s um now i'm caught up ah welcome back i've just had so much going on in my life uh people in our family it's gone crazy and i think a lot of people's lives are going crazy right now so i did battle some depression for a while and i'm coming out of it now um is one of the reasons you haven't seen me I just, I just tuned out of everything. Just enjoyed the Duna Nice, the Den. I still love getting on there and checking things out. But I'm really not watching too many videos. Um, I just got tired. And because uh, of all the drama in our family. I'm not even going to go into it. It's too complicated. But, you know, it's been a challenge. Not so much for my husband and I, but for our extended family. And so um, it's been challenging. But I did want to talk about this Louis Vuitton. I had a question from one of my subbies about the comparison between the Dooney & Burke medium satchel and the Louis Vuitton Ombre Leather 30 Speedy. Long sentences. Well, you can see the difference right away. This is about 14, 15 inches. This is 12 in length, width. And then the depth, but the depth's about the same. But the height is a little different too. Because this relaxes in here, the distance, right, the drop between the Dooney Nista bag um, gives you a little more space to put on your, through your arm. That's one big difference. This is a little narrower from here to here as a drop. This is a much heavier bag because it is, you know, it's regular leather, Florentine, you know, cow leather <laughs> cow hide <laughs> this is calves leather yeah i know it's softer it's a little it's resilient you can see the ombre print of the the louis vuitton logo on there it also has a push a clochette with the keys this is all brass this is coated metal jewelry quality gold brush gold metal covered metal but the, and so it's very hardy, and you've got all these buckles. It's equestrian, mega equestrian. You also have to have the whip stitching, as a lot of you guys know about the Dooney and Burke whip stitching. Gorgeous. No whip stitching here whatsoever. And, in fact, a lot of the Louis Vuittons have had problems with their glazing. Expensive bag, and then they have glazing that's not very tough. This is super tough compared to this. But this is a hardy bag for Louis Vuitton. It does hold up. You can, it's it's a softer leather, leather so it is going to lose its shape a little bit, but so does this. They kind of, you know, that's leather. It's going to relax. This bag you can wear as a shoulder bag. You see that? As well as a crossbody. You can do both. Same with this one. Shoulder or crossbody. That's what makes this so practical as well. Beautiful bag. And, but it has all the buckles and whistles. Also, this has more height to it. 
it's higher because it has extra, it's like a doctor bag satchel. And it has beautiful suede to fold over and collapse like the old uh, doctor uh, satchels. This is a doctor inspired satchel, but actually Louis Vuitton's very much in the luggage look. So this was a luggage look. And I think one of the famous actresses asked to have this made in several sizes. So they are luggage. Louis Vuitton, I mean, um, Dooney Burke were saddle company. So he had one time, <laughs> had the leather and then they converted. So you have this extra flap, makes it a little heavier. So the interiors though, of both of them is voluminous, right? So I love them both for different reasons. This is a big mouth and so is this. So I have um, my, um, uh, uh, organizers in there so go, some more go organizers and the same one fits both bags that's the question I was asked so I ordered the Samorga and it will fit the medium it won't fit the small though of the of the Dooney and Burke satchel um, and it's the 30 size so this is not the 25 it comes in the 25 it comes in 35 I'm not sure in the leather but they have one of the differences is do you see how high the buckles are placed and you see how much support and meaty support that these buckles have so some of the women uh, complain a little bit that this was placed higher this bag can kind of sag a little bit kind of lose its structure but hey guys it's leather it's supposed to that's what makes it so great. That's what the Louis Vuitton, this is what the Dooney and Burke, it's all about relaxing and slouching. But a lot of the women spend a lot of money on this and they don't want it slouching and keeping its shape. So I use a shaper in there to keep it structured, but you can see it's relaxing because that's calves leather, guys. That's going to, you know, you're, you're not going to have perfect rigidity unless you do rigid you know, Safiano leather is the only way you're going to get rigidity, but I don't like it too rigid. I like the softness of it. And um, the inside, I have my, you can see the Sumarga inside there. See? And I have it in the same color. I don't know, it's hard to see. See, there it is. And I have it the same color as the interior. But this is an elegant bag because it's all brass fittings. Here is the wonderful lock. The brass does scratch, so you do have to be careful with that. Wonderful zipper. Listen to that zipper as it goes across there. Luggage, you know, really high quality. So, but as I said, they've had problems with the glazings along the edges of the finished piece. No glazing issues whatsoever with Dooney and Burke, but you can see how much more rugged it is. Hear that? That's a good zipper too. Smooth. All right, but it's a heavier leather, and it's a and it scratches. You just rub it out. This one doesn't scratch, unless you put a knife to it. But it's a beautiful bag, and I wanted to show the differences. So, but this one is definitely smaller, the 30, than the medium. This is more the size of the small Dooney and Burke satchel, uh, the Louis Vuitton 30 ombre leather. Um, some of the women don't like how it pulls a little and there's a little smile there. It doesn't bother me. I'm like, come on guys. You know, this is the elegant nature of leather is that it softens and gets really creamy and dreamy and luscious. And that's what this one is doing, getting creamy and dreamy and luscious. This is Italian leather. You know what? This is probably Italian leather too. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's just a little younger cow. I know. So don't talk to me about it. This was my mother's bag, so I inherited this. And I love it. And here's some cute little brass keys. So it's sort of like a charm on there. Love it. And you guys, I miss you. And I'm back. Have a good day. Bye.